Hello there, it's me, Lou, from Theatric Kids again. Are you ready to use your voices, faces and body to do some drama again? Excellent. Right then, uh, before we start, can I just check? Aria, are you out there? Give us a wave. And what about Analia and Braven? Are you out there to do some drama today? That's brilliant. Hello. And what about Marnie? Are you ready to get dramatic, Marnie? Great news. And Rebecca, are you ready to do some fantastic acting with your voice, face and body? Good girl. Right then, we better get started. Let's start with uh, shaking. Let's shake one hand. And let's shake it for seven seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake the other. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now shake one foot. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Can you count with me? The other foot. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, let's do our hands again. But let's go from six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake your foot. Six, five, four. Keep your balance. Three, two, one. Shake. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Swap to feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Swap. Five, four, three, two, one. What's next? Four, give everything a shake. Good, right, oh, okay, our bodies are nice and warmed up. Can you please touch your head with your fingers? Now touch your chin, touch your hips, hands on hips, touch your knees, touch your toes, touch your hips again. Can you touch your shoulders? Can you touch your ears? Good, can you touch your nose? Can you touch your head? Can you touch your shoulders? Can you touch your hips? Very good, give yourselves a clap. Now we are going to do that game again, but this time we're going to tweak it a little bit. And we're going to play a game called Simon Says. So if I say to you, Simon Says, touch your shoulders, you touch your shoulders. If I say Simon Says, touch your head, you touch your head. If I say, touch your head, without saying Simon Says first, then you mustn't touch your head. So let's have a quick practice. Simon Says, touch your shoulders. Simon Says, touch your head. Simon Says, touch your knees. Touch your head. <gasps> Did you touch your head? You mustn't touch your head unless I say Simon Says. But don't worry, because we're playing at home, you don't have to be out if you don't win. So try to concentrate, though, so that you can do the best you possibly can. So, Simon says is the key phrase. Are you ready? Simon says, put your hands on your heads. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. Simon says, run on the spot, fast as you can. Simon says, stop. Simon says, wave at me. Hello. Simon says, stop waving and give me the thumbs up. Simon says, hands on heads. Simon says, hands on shoulders. Simon says, hands on hips. Hands on heads. Did you put your hand on your head? I hope not, because Simon didn't say. Well done, let's try again. Okay, Simon says, waving for me, please. Simon says, put your hands on your heads. Simon says, jump up and down like a jumping bean. 
Simon says, stop jumping. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. That's right, these are your hips. Simon says, put your hands on your nose. Simon says, put your hands on your ears. Simon says, put your hands on your mouth. Put your hands on your ears. Simon says, put your hands on your ears. And Simon says, give yourself a great big clap. Well done. Okay, so that's quite tricky. We have to listen very carefully for that, for that key sentence, Simon says. So do you remember our, our mirror exercise from last time where I stood in front of you and you used the same arms as me to copy my movements? Well, we're going to try that again today. So if I lift up this arm slowly, I want you to try to move your arm the same speed as me and do exactly the same movements. Brilliant. Good. Join in if you can. Right then. So off we go. One arm up. Really concentrating. And here comes the other arm. Oh, two together. Bring them back down together. Very good. Nice and steady. So try and copy what I'm doing. Your palms should be facing the ceiling. Take them out. Now this one is a bit tricky. Up to the side. And this one's gonna come down. It's like six o'clock on a clock. It's gonna come back and they're gonna meet in the middle again like that. Good. Push forward. Hands down. Turn them over. This time, you're going to take this arm up and this arm down. Oh, six o'clock again. Goodness, where does the time go? And bring them together and bring them both down. Very good. Good concentration. Good mirroring where you are copying me like I'm a mirror. Okay, so the other day we did some activities where you walked around the room that you're in carefully and slowly and you walked in different ways. We did some penguin walking, I think you might remember. We took some long strides like this. Well, today we're going to walk around the space, but we're going to walk around the space like we're different people. So we're going to start by you moving around the space, walking around your room, but just slowly and carefully like yourself. So walking around the room normally, please. Good. Now I'd like you to change and show me how you would walk like a policeman, please. Can you walk around the room like a policeman? And if someone's in the room with you and you come across them, you could give them a greeting like you think a policeman might. What might they say? Can you now change and walk around the room like a robot, please? We did robots last week. Can you walk around the room like a robot? Excellent. Nice and jerky and stiff. Robots don't tend to move very fast. Can you say hello to me like I'm a robot, please? You're a robot, please. Say hello, robots. Great, okay, and now can you walk around the room for me, please? Like you are bouncing a basketball, okay? Like you're playing a game of basketball. Okay, bounce that ball in front of you. Maybe you might shoot for the basket. Good, and can you imagine for me, please, that you're going to shoot for the basket and you're gonna score the basket and cheer for me. After three, one, two, Three, yay, brilliant. Now change and walk around the room, please, like you are an old lady or an old man. You might change your body shape, you might bend over a little bit to show that you're older. What might you have in your hand that you use to help you walk? That's right, a walking stick maybe. 
Good. And can you try to use your voice and sound like an old lady or an old man and say, hello, Lou, how are you? After three, one, two, three. Very good. Try that again for me. Hello, Lou. How are you? One, two, three. Good. Okay. Now shake out your old lady and your old man. You're not going to be them anymore. Can you walk around the room for me, please? Like you are a wicked witch. Walk around the room like a wicked witch. Good. Do you think you might cast some spells with your wand? Lovely. Can you change and move around the room, please? Like you are a fairy. Maybe casting some happy spells with your wand. Great. And what about, could you move around the room like you are a clown in a circus? Oh, fantastic. Can you try and make the people in the room with you laugh by being a crazy clown? What might you do if you're a clown? You might juggle some balls. You might fall over by accident to make people laugh. Moving around the room like a clown. Good, now can you move around the room please? Like you are a gymnast walking on a beam or an acrobat in the circus walking on a tightrope. Try to keep your balance as you walk around the room. Very good. And lastly, can you walk around the room, please? Like you are maybe one year old, one year old, and you've just learnt to walk for the first time. So you're a little bit wobbly with your walk. Very good. Lovely. Great characters. Give yourselves a big clap. Well done. Okay, so who can remember from last time our three actors tools? Let's just think for a second. There were three of them and we sing about them in my drama song and we can use them to be pretend to be somebody different, which is acting, doing drama. So we've got our... That's right bodies. We've got our, that's right, our voices and we've got our faces. Excellent, good. Bodies, voice and face are three actors tools. Now today we're going to focus for the rest of our session on just using two of our actors tools. We are going to use face and body okay face and body and they are what we use when we do mime do you know what mime is the simplest way to describe mime is when we do acting without our voices which is why we're using our face and our body so we're not going to use our voice today. We're going to be acting with just our, our faces and our bodies. And that means we're going to be doing mime. So first of all, I'm going to mime, so not using my voice, acting without my voice. I'm going to mime how I'm feeling. And I want you to try to guess. Are we ready? What do you think? Angry is how I was feeling. Now it's your turn. Can you use your bodies and your faces to show me that you're angry? Okay, right, let's see. Oh dear, you all look like you're in incredibly bad moods. Right then, okay, my turn. What do you think? 
That's right, I was very excited. Perhaps maybe I've just heard some really good news. Can you show me being excited? Oh, that's very good. Make sure I can see it on your faces. Are they just as excited as your bodies? Very good. My turn again. Mm -hmm. Let me think. What do you think? Yes, that's right. I was very sad. You could tell because I changed my body and my face to show that I was feeling sad. Your turn. Quick, go and show me sadness. Oh dear. Oh, I can tell from the way you're dropping your shoulders that you're all sad. Oh, look at your sad faces. Stop it. Stop being sad. I don't want you to be sad anymore. Okay, uh, let's do one more. See if you can guess. What do you think? That's right. I was scared. Or maybe you said nervous or anxious. They all mean very similar things. Can you be scared for me? Come on, show me your best scared. No talking, remember, just our faces and our bodies. Your turn, scared. Oh, no, you do look terrified. There's nothing to worry about, I promise. I'll look after you. Okay, relax, shake it all out, shake out those moods, shake out those feelings. Really good. Can you remember what it's called when we do drama without our voices? Sorry, without our voices, just our faces and our bodies? That's right, it's called mime. So the weather's been fantastic recently, which hopefully means you guys have been on a few family walks or bike rides perhaps. Maybe you've been out on your scooters. I want you to imagine that we are going to go on a walk now together. I am going to narrate what we do on the walk. Does anybody know what it means if somebody narrates? It means they tell a story. So I am going to tell the story of what we did on our walk and you guys are going to mime the story as I speak it. So if I say that we spotted a bird in the distance, I want you to use your body and your faces to show me what I'm saying, that you spotted a bird in the distance. So everything I say, you need to find an action for, but no speaking. Switch off those voices. We're going to focus on our faces and our bodies. Right then. Okay. So, can you go to the back of the space to start? Back of your room that you're in to start. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. I fancy going for a walk. I get my coat and I put it on one sleeve at a time. And next, I get my wellies, because actually it did rain the other day, and there might be a few puddles outside. So I put my wellies on one by one, and I go out of my front door, closing it behind me. I walk down to the park. I look either side of me as I walk through the park. I can see some birds in the sky. I can see some rabbits in the bushes over there. I can see the rabbits jumping and I jump up and down like I'm a rabbit too. Next, I see some butterflies and they dance past my face through the air. Just ahead, I can see Puddle. I take three 
giant steps and jump up as high as I can and splash down into that puddle. And I splash again. And I splash even harder and watch the water fly out to the side. On the floor in front of me, I can see an amazing stick. I love sticks. I run and I pick it up and I hold it high above my head. Wow, what could this stick be? Oh sure, it's a brilliant stick, but it could be so many other things. I pretend that my stick is a sword for a brave soldier. I pretend that my stick is a walking stick for an old lady. I pretend my stick is helping me balance as I walk the tightrope. I drop my stick on the floor because in front of me, I've just spotted an amazing tree to climb. So I head over to the tree and I try to climb up as high as I can, reaching from branch to branch. I climb higher and higher until I find the perfect spot to sit and look down at everybody I know walking past. Brilliant guys, give yourselves a big clap. It is great to go out for those walks, isn't it? There's so many fun things that you can do when you're out on a walk. And a stick is always good fun. We can pretend a stick can be anything that we want it to be. So maybe next time you go out on one of your family walks, you could find an amazing stick and turn it into something different. And if you do that, you know, you'll be doing drama, but out on your walk. So you've worked very hard today. We've been learning about a new drama skill called, what's it called? Sorry, what? M mime, that's right. And mime means we use how many actors tools? Do we use one? Do we use two? Or do we use three? That's right, we use two. Can you remember which ones we use? That's right, we use our body and we use our face. Well done, you've done some great remembering there and you've done some brilliant acting. I'm very pleased. So until I see you next time with more drama, I want you to keep practicing your miming skills any way you can. Take care, see you soon, bye bye.